My name is Jabir and I'm a PhD student at University College London. So now before I got into my PhD, I did a master's and before that I did my undergrad. I want to share with you the five tips that got me through the master's course. Now a bit of a background, um, during undergrad I was not most, the most serious student. Um, I kind of messed around, I didn't really do any work. So then therefore I did all the work in the last minute. So this was not a good strategy. Um, I really struggled during the exams and ultimately that left, left me with not the greatest grade which was a 2-2. However, after I graduated I realised that with such a poor classification of degree there's, my options were limited. Therefore, I, during that year out I decided to do a master's. Now of course, approaching the master's I thought, you know, for me getting a distinction in the master's was most impossible, especially at such a good university such as UCL. Um, here are my five tips that helped me get the best out of my master's course. The first tip is to spend some time after each lecture. Now it is quite obvious if you don't put in the time and effort into a master's course, you not, it's not going to give you the, the grade that you're looking for. So during my undergrad, I did not make notes and I did not attend most of the lectures. So the first thing to do is attend all the lectures that you possibly can. Now after, during the lecture, you make notes, however the best way you feel like. For me, it was pen and paper. But you have to spend time after each lecture going over what you've learned. So this kind of embeds in your mind what you've gone through that day and what the key components or principles they might be testing you on. And that leads me on to the second tip which is to convert your notes, however what form they are, into digital notes. Then this helped me immensely especially when revising and doing the actual exams. So during the lectures, because it's very important, you want to have a form of note that is very fast. So the worst thing for me would be to actually type on my laptop when the lecturer is speaking because you'll miss key um, components. So then you write the main um, bits of the lecture, key words, and hopefully the, if the lecturer gives you the slides as well, you can refer back to the slides and your keywords. And then this needs to be written up on your computer because the best way is to actually put your note form onto a digital format. This way it's very easy, um, there's not much paperwork involved so you don't have to sift through a lot of paper. You can do search functions, um, this allows you to go back and forth um, as if it was your kind of brain so you're going through the information you can retrieve it very quickly and also in digital form you can easily share it and you can access it wherever you want. This brings me on to my third tip is to always do extra research. Now in the master's level you are expected to go above and beyond what is taught, it's not just a taught course. So based on the lectures you can kind of suss out what is the important bits like it, sometimes the history and the background of the a presentation is not actually going to be assessed so what you need to do is find the key principles and components of the lecture if the lecturer was speaking about the cardiovascular system for example you kind of need to know how the cardiovascular system works uh, what are the functions what changes um, how, what do you think you're going to be assessed on you, you might not be assessed on who was the first person um, to develop the first cardiovascular pacemaker that's very unlikely that the exam question is going to be on that however the exam question is going to be on the um, the topics of what you have been taught in your lectures so therefore you need to go over that and extra information is very important so information not given to you by the slides is important it helps you understand the key concepts of the lectures but also it gives you more to speak about during the exams therefore giving you further more marks my fourth tip is to study someone that has a completely different background from you so for me, my master's was very inter and multidisciplinary, meaning people from very different backgrounds were coming in from all over the world, you know, high achievers from different parts of the world. And the course was all over the place in terms of the, if you're from a biology background, you don't really have an advantage because people with a um, mathematics or engineering background um, might find some bits easier, while some bits people with the biology background will find things easier. So the best thing to do is to study with someone that has a completely different background. Um, this will then allow you to fill in the gaps of knowledge from them and they can fill in the gaps of knowledge from you. So therefore by contributing um, to someone that has a completely different field, it helps you understand what you're missing out and they understand what they're missing out. 
My fifth tip would be to avoid group studies. Um, group studies might sound very fun, and that's kind of where it ends because for me, <laughs> um, having fun whilst learning might feel too good to be true, and it possibly is because learning should be, um, I shouldn't say not fun, but learning should be quite um, challenging and stimulating for the brain. So if you're having too much fun, um, you might not be stimulating your brain enough. Furthermore, group studies, in my opinion, and from my experience, I've found out that there's too many people, um, and then the, in group dynamics, there's, also, there's always going to be some vultures, you know, feeding off the knowledge of other people while it's not giving anything back, and it's too many people to manage um, for a productive um, study environment, in my opinion. And those were the, my top five tips on how to do well during a master's course. I should have said it in the introduction, but um, I said that I got a 2-2 for my undergraduate studies. However, during my master's, I actually managed somehow to achieve the top of the class. So these tips are from someone who thought um, there's no way they can actually succeed in, during a master's course. But now you know that given these five tips, you too can earn um, a good um, degree during your master's. Furthermore, as a PhD student, I'm actually now teaching the master's course. I'm actually a fourth year PhD student, so I'll be finished very soon. But given this is my experience as both as a master's student and also teaching the master's student that I teaching the master's program that I also like was a part of, part of myself. And also, I do mark some of the exams. I do I give some of the lectures and some of the tutorials. So I'm just it's a way for me to give back to people and tell them how. Um, you know, doing a master's is a very um, valuable thing and it's very worthwhile of one year of your life. Um, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, uh, all, all I want uh, from you, well, you don't have to, but you can just just put a comment down saying if you enjoyed it, what, what you didn't enjoy, how I can improve, and that's all I really want. So thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>